Okay, as you can see, my eyebrows are already done. I did them with the Chloe Morello palette um, with Pixie, the little collab that she did with, uh, with Pixie that I really, really um, just did her first impressions on that. And it is a really great palette. I really love it. Um, I did my eyebrows with them. And so today we'll be going over the uh, ColourPop No Filter Foundation. And I got two colors. I got medium 100 and light 75. I figured either way I could mix them if I needed to um, on my little mixing palette or on my face or whatever. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. It's a filter. It's a. I love that the fact that it's in a pump. Now this is light 75. You really kind of can't tell when you're trying to get the correct color. So, I mean, you can see that they have like a yellowy undertone, maybe a peachy. I kind of went for more of a peachy undertone. This one definitely looks darker, which is great because it's summertime and I can end up um, building it up. So, let me start with a little bit of, this is light 75 on a Morphe sponge, and I'm going to twist it to pump it out, which is great. Maybe I'll put it on the back of my hand just to see how it feels. Okay, it's runny, but it, it doesn't feel greasy at all, so I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe sponge and see what it looks like on and even if it doesn't match me completely I can um, change it and alter it to fit with my um, concealer because I have an array of concealers definitely looks a little dark for me but I can always order another color it's kind of like um, what are they called like when I'm uh, like with the wet and wild foundations and the LA Girl foundations and things like that, they're really, really, really good foundations and they're really uh, super affordable. So you can get like a bunch of different shades and you don't really have to worry about um, too much of how much you're going to spend because you can always buy a bunch, which I really prefer being able to do that because of the fact that. Well, let's face it, I'm a Floridian and our, our skin colors change as we um, tan and even when people aren't going out physically actually making an effort to tan, then they're still going to um, get some type of color, you know, with all the stuff that we end up doing anyways here in Florida. Okay, I had, a, I had both the bottles right next to each other so I had to make sure I was grabbing the right one. As you can see, this does seem a little bit like... I want to say maybe on the yellow side for me. Um, but we're going to make it work. This is supposed to be about full coverage, probably like medium to full. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it up underneath my eye. I'm just going to kind of really try it out because if it's supposed to be medium to full coverage, it should be able to at least conceal some dark circles, hyperpigmentation, redness, things like that. I will be ordering another one to kind of change the coloring, but that just makes it so my foundation goes longer. And I can change the colors a lot, which is really nice. Always blend down your neck. You don't want to ever have that line right here. This looks really stupid. And you can also change the coloring of your foundation by any setting powders, if they have pigments in them, or any type of concealers, or even like when you're contouring and highlighting, things like that. So don't be too upset if your foundation does not match perfectly. You just need to make sure that you really blend it out and blend it down your neck and into your chest. It depends on what you're wearing. I myself am right now, of course, wearing a 
Suicide Squad shirt. You guys, if you've seen my page on here, you know that we are big um, superhero slash villain fans. Um, my husband and I have um, pulled out our Harley and Joker on multiple occasions, although I'm not dyeing my hair to be Harley. I might buy a wig, but the only problem is usually they look like wigs. And I have hair down to my waist, so it's really hard to tuck it all up underneath there. So I just color the ends of it and just keep on going. I will be ordering another one to kind of change the coloring, but that just makes it so my foundation goes longer. And I can change the colors a lot, which is really nice. Always blend down your neck. You don't want to ever have that line right here. This looks really stupid. And you can also change the coloring of your foundation by any setting powders, if they have pigments in them, or any type of concealers, or even like when you're contouring and highlighting, things like that. So don't be too upset if your foundation does not match perfectly. You just need to make sure that you really blend it out and blend it down your neck and into your chest. It depends on what you're wearing. I myself am right now, of course, wearing a Suicide Squad shirt. You guys, if you've seen my page on here, you know that we are big um, superhero slash villain fans. Um, my husband and I have um, pulled out our Harley and Joker on multiple occasions, although I'm not dyeing my hair to be Harley. I might buy a wig, but the only problem is usually they look like wigs. And I have hair down to my waist, so it's really hard to tuck it all up underneath there. So I just color the ends of it and just keep on going. I know I have lines right here and across my forehead, as you can see. Botox will be taking care of that sooner than later. But, I mean, in all realism, it has blended out really nice, really easy. If I had had the color that would be more fitting to my skin, it would probably look even better. It seemed to start to dry down. I would say it's more semi-matte. I would not say that it dries down to a full complete matte, which is great for me because I have super dry skin in just like the T-zone. It's super dry. The other place, all of the rest of my face is normal. But when you have super dry skin or any type of dry skin, you don't want to have something that's completely matte because it can amplify your dry skin. Um, but as for this, I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face and I'll be back with my final thoughts on this. Okay, so I'm back with my final thoughts on the new No Filter ColourPop Foundation. Okay, so it's a win. I absolutely love it. This is my first impression and my personal opinion about this product. It might work for you. It might not. This is my personal opinion, but for me, this is a fantastic product, and I will be getting it in a different color, too. Um, probably multiple different colors, to be honest. But I absolutely love it. It has not sunk into my fine lines and wrinkles. It is holding product very well. It blended very well. It is not picking up any texture um, on me at all. I really, really love it. This is actually a summertime 4th of July look that I have created over the course of a few different videos. Um, I will be posting them in in its consecutive order so that you can see how I built this look but this was the start and yeah I really really love these again the color that I actually use on my face is light 75 and I actually also have medium 100 as I said in the beginning and I'll probably be getting a lighter shade and not so yellow maybe more of the pink side and then really just kind of working with them 
Again, that's my preference. I really love to do that because one, it lengthens out having a foundation and it also um, makes it so I can customize the foundation the way I want to, although they did come out with a bajillion shades, which is fantastic. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I try to post three to five times a week. That doesn't always happen right at this minute because it's summertime. And of course, the husband is off work and the kids are out of school. So we are doing a lot of stuff that has to do with them. But I do try to post. I post nail stuff, skincare stuff, anything like that except for hair because this is pretty much what my hair does. It is, um, yeah, it just stays straight. Which is great for Florida weather because it stays straight. I don't really have to worry about it frizzing up or anything like that. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Mwah.